Do you ever listen to porno grind and think, Man, this genre really hates women. I wish it was more unintelligent to the point where the vocals are just minion grunts and the focus was on catchy beats and hammers. Well then, I got the genre for you and it's simply called SLAM. Take it away, boys! <laughs> Slam is not short for simultaneous localization and mapping, but short for slam death metal or slamming brutal death metal, a sub 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 genre of grindcore and death metal, also known as a micro genre. Slam takes the idea of a breakdown and breaks it down eh, to its simple components, meaning that slam is literally just palm unit guitar chugging with gurgling vocals and mid tempo drum beats. It's almost like grindcore genres evolved backwards, like Picasso's paintings. But unlike Slam, his paintings were actual art. Oh! The genre is an evolution from the New York death metal scene, but sadly didn't stay there. The first Slam riff was played by Suffocation, and then someone in the audience said, <laughs> Hey Billy, you heard that sick Suffocation riff over there? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty chunky. We should make a whole song out of it. Hey. Sure thing, Thomas, yo, Bob. That'd be <laughs> slamming as fuck. Yeah, hell yeah! <laughs> So the word slam comes from the interpretation of the palm muted guitar riffs, so just like Gent, it's named after a guitar technique. Also slam gets mixed up with nu metal and death chords, somehow, since these genres share a bouncy guitar riff and hip hop influenced drums with nu metal and the guttural vocals and rough tufted clothes with death core. So yeah, the confusion gets to the point that people on internet forums have turf wars over what label goes on which band. I can only imagine the confusion. This isn't cow decapitation. That's that stuff. For recommended bands, see Devourments, Cranium, Internal Bleeding, Sephavalipsy, and Abominable Purity. These aren't band names, these are serious medical conditions, and you have all of them. Diagnosis pretty much dead. But of course, there are subgenres within this swamp of delicacy, like Caveman Slam. Which is slam, but simpler? But how? Bigger, bigger. Bigger, bigger. <laughs> There's also banjo slam, which is just banjo but with slam guitars in the rhythm section. Who are these genres made for? My dear good sir, have you heard the latest Yoga Pan Slam single by Stretcherous Rips? I dare say it is much chuggier than the last week's single. No, I'm afraid not. I've been dwelling into post hardcore Nintendo Slam Core. Something of a marvelous genre if I do say so myself. Fun fact In the Slam community, the most famous phrase is Let me see some hammers. It's an alternative to Let me see some horns, but instead it's hammers. The origin of this phrase comes from an live concert, where some dudes are doing the Macarena and then Gurgle My Burp's vocal guy shouts, Let me see some hammers! And now no one will ever shut the fuck up about hammers. Hammer this, hammer that, hammer time! You'd think these guys would get a hard on when going down to Sam's Club for a slamming bulk deal of hammers. Hell yeah! One hammer, please! We're, um... We're sold out, I'm afraid. Shit. Anyway, since y'all are here, I guess you need a tutorial on how to make a song go chug chug bree. So let's hop onto the slam train, chug our way to Hammer South Dakota, and hope there is no wall in the way. Gentle slammers, it would appear that someone on this train is a poser. It wasn't me, my favorite cheese is brie. Slam blam, thank you mlam, cause we're gonna focus on the most important part of being in a slam band, the wardrobe of course. Okay, imagine you're a slam artist and your favorite color is black and your spirit animal is a pig. You're wearing shorts and your t-shirt has something scary on it. 
As long as you looked like a guy who was a mediocre rapper, then became homeless and now has loud arguments with pigeons. But be careful, cause you could fall down the rabbit hole of hip hop fashion to the point where you get unironically labeled as Wigger Slam. Don't know what that is? You're already lucky. But to keep it short, the name was coined by Sergeant D of Mel Sucks and Stuff You'll Hate. Sergeant D being the old persona of Finn McKenty. The name was used to describe slam bands that dress more streetwise than actual metalheads. A lot of slam bands understandably find that uncomfortable, which already makes them 200% better than most black metal fans. Yeah, I play slam, pure wicked caveman knuckle dragon slam. I'm so pumped up on energy drinks and hatred, I forgot I had a family to feed. Shut up, grandma! Anyway, guitar! Just get a modern, high gain tone, plenty of distortion, and make sure it sounds decent in the middle when you slam. Did I say decent? I meant. Anyway, if you don't want to be original, do like everyone else and drop tune the guitar, play in the chromatic scale, but only the first six frets. Then just palm mute random riffs until you have an original song. Or you can use standard tuning, then play like you normally would if the guitar was in drop tuning, then make the bass play the guitar's second string, but an octave lower. Oh Jesus, look at that. What's he doing? is either having a stroke or slowly unlearning how to play the guitar. It looks like it got spilled the person. <sighs> this will trick people into thinking your song is tuned lower than it actually is. Don't forget to move your hands as close to the bridge as possible so you get a more open palm mute sound. Feel free to be half creative by adding tritone chords, pitch harmonics, Regular harmonics, random guitar fluff, or all at the same time. Just remember to not balance it out, cause the more unique the riff is, the less slam it becomes. Mmm, bass. While the guitarist is busy cucking your wife, steal his guitar sheet and play the exact same thing he's playing. Problem is that nobody writes down their slam riffs, so while guessing works too. Funnily enough, that probably involves more music theory. Wait, I have a wife? For the tone, just take your bass amp, add a few distortion pedals, then crank everything to 11. Then let the studio engineers secretly replace you with a VST bass while you're not looking. Drums. While the guitarist and the bassist are too busy having a toxic masculinity competition in the corner, you will be the true foundation of the band. You just have to play halftime stuff, which means the snare is on the 3 instead of the 2 and 4. Don't know what that means? It's okay, I can't count either. But for the most part, your drive will be on the hi-hat, China, and maybe the ride. Don't forget cookie cutter snare and death bell. Dong, ding, dong. Overuse the crashes as random hits. Then prepare a YouTube brand where you complain about getting kicked out of the band and replaced with Easy Drummer. Did I forget something? Oh yeah. Random blast beats galore. Now that you got all your instruments, it's time to write the song. Step one, listen to a slam song you like. The hardest part. Step 2. Steal the riff as poorly as possible. Step 3. Repeat until album. Now I'm not gonna point out that every slam band is exactly the same and that they're all secretly stealing from each other. LYRICS! Okay, this is the most important section, so I can understand that this isn't for everyone, but in order to write slam lyrics, you need to understand the complex philosophical readings of Nisha to fully realize the concept that God is dead and stole lyrics. Cause fuck it! Who needs lyrical complexities when you can grunt like a caveman on sulfur hexafluoride? That's the opposite of helium and makes your voice sound deeper. But you already know that if you're a fucking nerd! Vocals! 
Because there's no lyrics, you need to go back to kindergarten and learn about your vowels. You're only gonna need a, e, e, o, u, and y. If you're European, you get extra vowels, you lucky bastards. Anyway, take a vowel and stick a br, fr, tr, pr, or literally any letter followed by an r and a vowel. Then just growl in a funky rhythm and you'll be a slam vocalist in no time. Brrr. It's like minion speak or soul fetch for douchebags. Hey bro, what's up? I fucked up! How? What happened? We forgot the lyrics! What? What? Where are the lyrics? Gee, I wonder what you need for that. Could it be Reaper? Could it be Audacity? Windows Movie Maker? All equally good option when recording SLAM! Open your DAW of force choice and set the BPM to any triple number. Open your drum minion and use whatever death metal kit you bought on the cheap. Add a tempo change or 500. Your guitar needs to sound overly distorted and heavy in the bottom. To find whatever sound is neat and annoying. Mostly annoying. Now record your slam riff. Then get ready to record again. Realize you forgot how the riff is played. Then record a new one and record a second one before it leaves your brain holes. Write down the one essential drum riff. Then copy paste with one or two variations. No one cares. Bass can be as easy as effort, no effort, or just copy paste the guitars and pitch them down an octave or void. Dude! This instrument has strings! Fuck yeah! Vocals! <laughs> oh no! The vocalist is about to burp! Quickly, give him a microphone! Don't forget the 808 bass drop! Um. Add nothing extra. You don't want to be a poser, do you? Well, you can add a sample from a movie, video game, Spongebob, whatever gets you in trouble with copyright. Mixing? It's pretty complicated, so pay attention and take notes. The first thing you need to make it heavy is... Hey kids, welcome to TSI! Letter time! Woo! So this is from Sally420. And she writes to us, Dear TSI, is it true you can get anthrax from the pa uh, letter paper? Yes, it is, Sally. It is extremely dangerous. You should never put anything like that in your mouth. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. I need to get down here immediately, Dave. It happened again. Yeah, I know it's the third one. <coughs> <coughs> Anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Yeah, and then easy mix to top it all off. I feel like I missed something, but oh well. And now you got one slam song. Copy paste your song with some variation and you got an album. The music videos vary from non-existent to low quality. So just plump down whatever phone camera you got and get ready to mug the fuck out.
Congratulations! Your band has contributed nothing to society. Cause you're not the hammer, you're the nail. Wait, we're a band? Yes, but this is the end. I'm oh. sorry. No, no, wait, wait, come back. No, no! Chugga chugga Bree? Boo, you suck! Brian! <laughs>